Well, it's not just the Jewish community that's reporting an increase in abuse and attacks. My next guest says she's experienced racism online recently that she'd never even contemplated in the real world. Shei Akiwowo is a Labour councillor in Newham. She spoke at the European Youth Parliament and this speech was posted online. Former empires, the British Empire, French Empire, the Italian Empire, to pay reparations... To... <laughs> oh, I, I ain't finished yet. Uh, to pay reparations to the country that they had previously colonised. Well, the response was horrific. Many of the tweets and YouTube comments I couldn't think about repeating on television, but here's a selection of those we can. At first, no one told this ape it's 2017 now. I want reparations from all the third worlders currently invading Europe. And I hate monkeys. Also, Africans still live in mud huts in 2017. All the money in the world can't fix stupid. Well, Shay joins me now. Shay, like I said, they're just some of the ones we could even begin to read out on air. Hearing those ones again, how does that make you feel? I'm shocked mm. um, and maybe it's um, maybe it's because I'm fortunate to have really great friends and be in a community that love and embrace diversity mm. and I'm really shocked there are so many people that have such hatred in their hearts and can feel that they can talk to people like that so I'm I'm shocked I mean before you, you went down this path in your life and you, you went into public office what you, did you ever think that you would ever experience anything like this had you previously I mean they do warn you that you might face some sexism online yeah. and I'm quite, if you talk to my friends, I'm quite a sassy, stubborn person. I can stick up for myself and I stick up, I stick up for people who are also being bullied. But the flood of racism and sexism and the death threats and people saying they're watching me, it's mm. scary. And I'm on Joe Cox's leadership programme. I'm very much aware of what happened to Joe Cox not even a year ago. And it does, it does play on my mind. Our local MP, um, Stephen Timms, was also stabbed, um, um, be, uh, fueling from something uh, to do with hate. So it does bear, it does bear on my mind, yes. What have, what's been the response from Twitter and YouTube? What have they said to you? Um, Nothing. Mm. Uh, they haven't said anything to me, despite reporting it. I spent a long time yesterday reporting 70 um, hate speeches, mm. which is very difficult to respond as well. And I'm happy to have a conversation with YouTube um, and Google about this. Um, but I've, al I've also, and I want to say, received a lot of love from mm. a lot of strangers, which yeah. has been really, really kind. Of support. I mean, in res just to speak for YouTube, they, we did get in touch with them. They said that hate speech has no place on the YouTube platform and we remove hateful content and comments when they're flagged up. So Twitter say the, the same pretty much, but they won't um, comment on individual cases. Is this enough, though? It's not enough. It's not enough. I think there's a, fi there's a line between freedom of speech and hate speech, and it is on all social media companies to make that line very clear and deter people from using Twitter, social media accounts, to spread hate. OK, listen, show you, Akiwo. Thank you so much for thank coming you for having to me. me. Thank you. Thank you.